Hi, welcome to my channel. This is the same car, Saab 95 2007 Aero, that I changed the booster vacuum uh, pipe. So I'm gonna change the top idle pulley on the same car. The top idle pulley is making noise, and there's always the risk of seizing up the pulley. So when it's too cold and it's making noise, it means it's worn up, so it's running without grease. So at that point, it's very important to change the top idler pulley. For this job, I'm gonna jack, I'm gonna put a jack under the oil pan. I'm gonna put a jack under the oil pan. So this is the jack, and this is, I'm gonna put a piece of wood on it. So we don't want to damage the oil pan. So don't put it directly under the oil pan with the metal, okay? We don't want to do that. We're going to put a piece of wood. So first step, I'm going to put it under the car, under the oil pan. I'm going to jack it up slightly so it's going to lean on the oil pan. As you see, the engine lifted up a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm holding the, the weight of the engine because I'm gonna remove the, I'm gonna remove the, the bracket on, uh, on the top of the engine that is bolted to the engine mount on the right hand side. But, so let's go ahead and do it. So the first step is we're gonna remove the bracket over here. It has four bolts on two bolts on each side and one that holds the support. And we're gonna remove that and uh, in order to access the pulley. I'm gonna start to remove the cover, the plastic cover over here. A small, a small explanation for you. This is the tensioner pulley, and this is the, a washer that goes over here, and this is the top idler pulley. And of course, it's bolted. There's a bolt over there. So I'm gonna replace that. The other components are still good. The belt is still good. The tensioner is still okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change only the pulley. To change the pulley, I need a half inch bar. Half inch bar, we're gonna insert it over here. And we're gonna push it like that, and we're gonna put a four millimeter pin inside. It's very important to, to put four millimeter because we don't want it to be too small, it could crack and break. So we're gonna put a four millimeter pin. Once you push it, you align the two holes and you put the pin, so we remove the tension from the belt. So that way we can remove the belt and change the pulley. And when, after we put the, the belt back, we're gonna remove back the pin. So I'm gonna start by uh, Removing the 18 millimeter bolt nut. Gonna remove the 16 millimeter bolts. There are four bolts. As you see, when we remove the bolts, the engine didn't fall down. So the engine stayed in place. So right now I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna lift this, uh, I'm gonna lift this up, and there's a power steering rubber, power steering rubber, and the, the power steering hose is passing through that metal. I'm gonna just disconnect that. We're gonna just remove it, put it on the side. 
I'm gonna remove the bracket. Remove the bolts first. And remove the bracket. So don't lose this nut. We're gonna use it again. Don't, don't lose this washer. It's very important. We're gonna put it back. So now you see the, the pulley. This is the pulley. It's visible right now. Okay, so that we're gonna replace that pulley. We're not, we are not going to remove the belt completely. We're just gonna slide it out and leave it like that. But if you want to change the belt, I'm not changing the belt right now, but if you wanna change the belt, this is the, the size of the belt. 6PK2415 just in case you want uh, to know the, the size of the belt but this the, but the earlier 95 the size is different this is the shortcut this is the belt if you want to fit it on the 99 model until 2001 model you have to remove the center pulley and discard the center pulley so you're doing a shortcut and it's going to be similar to this one. See, this is the newer model, 2007. So your, this belt, okay, is going to, it doesn't have a center pulley, center idler pulley. So, so if you putting, you putting this belt on the older one, you have to remove the center pulley. You don't need the center pulley. So right now, I'm going to, Pry the tensioner. I'm gonna lock the tensioner with the four millimeter pin. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it over here. This is the tensioner. That's where it goes, as you see. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push. And, and lock the tension. As you see, you can see the, you see the tensioner is over there. You see where the pin is right now. So that's where I, I put the, the pin in. You have to push the tensioner, align the two holes, and put the pin in. So right now, I'm going to remove the, the pulley. To remove the pulley, I need a 15 millimeter wrench. I'm going to open the, the bolt. And remove, remove the bolt completely. The bolt is almost out. As you see, the bolt came out. It has a washer on it. I remove the pulley. So after you remove the pulley, this is the old one. There's a washer behind the pulley. This is the, the old washer. So I'm gonna put the new one in, put the new washer in. I'm gonna put the new pulley in. So which way it goes, it doesn't matter, but me, I, I prefer this way. 
This is the back of the pulley. I prefer to put it this way, this way facing out. So I'm putting it this way facing out. So as you see, I'm still holding the belt. The washer is there. And I didn't drop the belt. It's very important to hold the belt so you don't waste time. And you put the put the new washer with the new bolt. And you tighten the bolt with your hand all the way. This is the old one. As you see, there's some noise on it. So tighten the, the bolt. How tight it should be? You tight as much as you can until it stops with a moderate force on it, like this. As you see, I can't tighten it anymore. So that's enough. And we're gonna release the tensioner. Push the tensioner like that, remove the pin, and release the tensioner. As you see, we have a new tensioner in place. The belt, the belt didn't, didn't move, it stayed in place. At the air condition is still in place. Every, Every pulley the belt is in place. I'm gonna start the car, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna turn right now. I'm gonna put the bracket back in place. Put back the bolts. Tighten the bolts. Don't go too tight. I'm gonna finish it with the torque wrench.
gonna drop the jack. Gonna align the, the support back in place. We want it to, to be right in center. I want it to be right in the center. So not to have vibration issues. Put back the washer and put, put back the knot and tighten the knot. You can tighten more this one because it's a bigger, bigger stud. I preset my torque wrench at 36 foot pound. So we're gonna torque this bracket bolts 36 foot pound. One, two. Three, four. So um, this knot, you don't really have to torque it. It's already too tight. But if you want to torque it, it's 78 foot pound. Can use the torque wrench to torque it 78 foot pound. So I'm gonna put back the power steering rubber back in place. The rubber is back in place. Put back the cover. That's it. So if you like, so if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.